is Siddharth from Comic Book Reviews and today we are reviewing another Batman title uh, which is Batman The Long Halloween. Uh, it's written by Jeff Loeb and uh, it's illustrated by Tim Sale. This is pretty much of a, mo- of a monster book. I mean, I don't know if you can see this but it's about 380 pages long. It's available on Flipkart and Amazon at around 615 right now which is the same price that I paid for this book and I think it's an amazing buy. At that price you get a lot of comic book for your money. And uh, to give you another reason why you should buy this book, uh, yeah, I'm already saying that you should buy this book, is that uh, we have a, a quote here from Christopher Nolan, uh, which says, uh, The Long Halloween is more than a comic book, it's an epic tragedy. Moreover, we've got uh, the great man's interview on the first few pages of the book, which uh, where he basically says that uh, the Long Halloween had a great influence on uh, the Batman Begins and the Dark Knight movies. So if you are a big fan of that trilogy or you know you are a big fan of uh, the genius that is Christopher Nolan, you might want to take a look at this book. It's really nice. Now, I'll start off uh, with the story of course. It's very simple. It's a murder mystery. You know, you've got random people who are dying on holidays and there are multiple suspects. I mean, throughout the book you're wondering is it the, is it the Falcones or is it someone from the Maroni family? Or is it the Joker who's doing it or has Harvey then finally gone rogue? So, and towards the very end, you just don't know who's doing it. So the artwork for this book is really awesome. It really fits the genre of uh, crime novel. I'll uh, show you a bit of uh, the pages that I really love. So right from the beginning, we get to see the distinct art style that's used and which suits really well to the crime novel genre I guess that particular frame over there is very badass and uh, the other thing that I liked about this book is uh, this interesting technique of splitting up frames into two pages so it, it just makes reading the frames and the dialogues a very interesting activity it's that much more engaging And another thing that I liked about uh, this book is uh, the technique of using black and white pages towards the end of the chapters. Now, while all of throughout the throughout the chapter you know something bad is going to happen, and uh, the earlier pages are in color, but the killings that are shown, there's uh, there's black and white and a bit of color that's used uh, to show the killings. So that that was really interesting, and uh, I really liked. And there's another bookmark over there. Uh, I really liked how Poison Ivy was drawn for this book. I, she's not my favorite characters, but this this rendition of Poison Ivy was just awesome. So the stuff that I like about this is that uh, while it's 380 pages long, it really keeps you engaged uh, throughout the chapters and you really want to know who's behind all of this and uh, it doesn't get boring at all. Uh, Plus, the other thing that I liked about this is how, you know, the various villains have tied into the story without really affecting the core uh, plot, right? So, we've got Joker, we've got a chapter on Poison Ivy, we've got a chapter on the Mad Hatter as well, and it really fits in. It doesn't feel like it's out of place or anything. And the stuff that I didn't like about this book, uh, there are a couple of things. Like, it's a great murder mystery. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But it's not necessarily a great Batman story. I mean, if you change the characters and, you know, make it a Sherlock Holmes story, it'd probably be as good, if not better. So that's one thing that I didn't really like about it. Uh, The other thing is that there's just too much of Godfather references. I mean, like, I know it's a crime family at the end and, you know, you've got to use the the keep your friends close, but your enemies closer and then uh, five shots and it's still alive. But after a point, it just gets a little like, all right, we know you like Godfather, just, just relax. The other thing that I thought was a little annoying is that um, is, is actually a trend with you know most uh, of the trade paperbacks which collect these single issues. Throughout the book, they'll try to recap what's been happening in the earlier issues, and this book does it very extensively. It gets a little annoying because you know, of course, you're not going to put this book down once you started reading it, so you always know what's happening or what has happened rather. But anyways, I mean. This is a great book, it's a great murder mystery and at 615 it's awesome money for the comic book that you will get and if you are into again collecting comic books or 
And if you generally uh, enjoy a good uh, murder mystery, you should totally buy it, or you know, you should totally read it. So that's all for this review. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.